Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Writer. What I want to talk about in this module is some paragraph formatting. First of all though, I just want to talk about selecting text. If you double click on a word, it highlights that word. If I click three times, it highlights the sentence. If I click four times, it highlights the paragraph. It's quite hard to click four times without stopping, but that's basically what you can do. Obviously, you can still drag with your mouse if you want, but the double clicking and triple clicking and quadruple clicking also does certain things. Now, I always recommend when you use Writer that you have the ruler activated. If you haven't got it, if you go view and then ruler on or off there, look, it's quite hard to see when I've got a dark theme, but there it is ruler on because. With the ruler on, you can see these indent markers. That's the left indent marker, and that's the right indent marker. So basically, if I pick that up, I can actually pick that up and set it manually like so. So whichever paragraph I'm in, it will apply to that paragraph. I'll put it back like that, pick into a different paragraph, move that one in, say to two centimeters, and then the triangles themselves represent the text. So the top tri triangle represents the first line. So if you wanted a first line indent, you could do that. And then if I move the bottom triangle, you can see that that moves the whole thing. If I put it back together, I'm getting rid of, I'm getting rid of the first line indent, sort of. Bit of a faff about there. And then if I pick the whole thing up, put the whole thing back to the margin, I've got rid of that indent altogether. Now on the right side, you've got another triangle, which is the right indent marker, and you can bring it in like that. So if I bring them both in, you've got text sitting like that. And if I go to home, you can select justified, justified text like that. Justified, it sort of spreads it out a little bit and gives you a straight line, a straight edge down either side of that paragraph, as opposed to left which has it sort of jagged. The actual image on these represents how the text will be. So that's right, straight down the right side. That's centered, so it's centered in the middle of the margins. And as I said, they're justified, a bit like newspapers, they do that. Now, if you want to format it a bit more formally than that, rather than just manually dragging things, you can go to the Format tab and select Paragraph, for example which gives you access to a lot of tools in there. So if I go, which is on the indent tab, if I put zero there and zero again, and then click okay to that, that's put that back to normal, back to square one. Other things I've got in format paragraph, if I go back into format paragraph, that's the indents and spacing. You've got first line indent there as well. You can set that there. You've got line spacings where you can change the difference and line spacings. If I put it to 1.5 and click OK, you can see it does, it does that, it gives you the gap. When you're doing dissertations and things like that at university or college or even school, sometimes the teacher wants you to have a line spacing so, you, so they can write some comments about your work in there. Other things you've got in there, if I stay in this paragraph and just go back into format paragraph, as you come along there, you've got the alignment options in, in there. You don't need to come in here to do this because you've got them on the toolbar at the top there. But you can do, you can come into this one. You've got outline options if you've got number, text flow options if you've got boxes with text in. You've got tabs. So this is a place you can set tabs. So if I put, for example, two, press enter there, that'll give me a, a tab, left tab at two centimeters. You can see the other tab markers that are already there. That's the default tab markers. If I go back into it, format paragraph, back onto that tab. Now, if you want to get rid of that, I just need to knock that off. But you've got left, right, centered, and decimal tab options there that you can set, and you've got leader dots if you so wish also there. Now, drop cap, you can have that on if you want. If you click that, basically the first letter of the sentence becomes big, drops it down. You've got borders. Where you can select a border and then you've got area where you can select a color for the area if you want to color this in like that and then that's transposed so click ok to that let's have a look at that so there's the drop cap 
got line spacing on border on and colored green so those are all features you can get from that format paragraph now you can see the tab marker on the ruler and again if you don't have a ruler displayed you need it displayed because it shows you index and tabs if i come down to this bottom paragraph you can see that tab marker is not on there it was there now i've just clicked it so it is there the default is left tab so that's actually show me the left tab and i've just double clicked on it and it's opened up this format paragraph box which will allow me to change the tab type if i so wish but i don't so i just wanted to show you that and cancel that off so now what is this tab about it basically means if i press tab it'll jump to that area if i press tab again it just does the default tabs that's the default tab mark as it's going to now it's not i haven't got any other tabs in there but if i do put another tab on there let's go there you see that's jumped over now when your text jumps about like this it's usually because there's tabs on and people have deleted things and it's the text has gone a bit awire you see formatting you want to go onto the onto the view tab and click on um, formatting marks there and then it'll show you these little arrows where tab markers are which you can then get rid of if you if you don't want those on there you can just backspace those off and then there's a tab there as well you can get rid of that and the other ones these are just where the where the line spacing is so again with between paragraphs you normally have two line spaces or it's up to you nowadays it might only be one depending on the font you're using but that's how you would see that and then you don't need it on all the time you can just take that off by just clicking that and it doesn't show them anymore so that's using the formatting option to see where your markers are where your tabs are and where you've pressed enter or even if i put it back on a second if you've got space spaces now like you see the little dot there where there's a space that's me pressing the space bar so it also shows you that and if i take that off again so you can't see that until you put that show formatting mark on and then you can get rid of anything that's, that shouldn't be there the last thing i want to show you is this colored area if i click into this colored area let's say you want to fade that out and make it a bit more transparent you can do that through um, format and paragraph as well going back into that same box again there you've got transparency and you can put it on and then you can you see the color there and you can adjust that down to whatever you want it to be or up and then click ok and then it sort of fades it out a little bit if you've got that sort of thing on there it's quite useful if you've got boxes on top of text so you can if you want to see the text through the box you just make it transparent so you can do that but that's basically all I want to talk about in this little video is how you can use some of the paragraph four formatting tools to enhance your document. So hopefully this information has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.